As you can see, I've done one eye, and so that's what I'm going to be filming on the other side. It's like a graphic liner and glitter liner look, and cut crease. It's inspired by Dumb Makeup on Instagram, and this is her YouTube. I'll link her Instagram YouTube below, and I think she did a video. Oh, I don't think she filmed a video on this one, but her video is great. So I'm going to start my other eye. To start this, um, I look. I'm gonna go into the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Uh, I'm gonna use Georgia as a transition shade, and it's like a almost it's a skin coloured pink shade. And I'm just gonna put this all over my crease in the outer corner. Oh my god! I just inhaled that powder. And it just tasted great. I couldn't think of what I wanted to film today, um, and so I did this eye. And I did this one because it's the eye I'm not very good at, but it's actually turned out better than I thought it was. So I guarantee you, this one's going to turn out worse. But it's the same technique. It's just the pressure of the camera. It's not. It's just that I don't have a table to lean on when I'm doing eyeliner. All my freckles have come out because I was at a wedding festival and it was bloody hot and I didn't plan for it to be hot I don't think anyone knew it was going to be hot when I looked at the weather it said it was going to be raining all weekend so I bought a rain mac and everything you see this pink like fluorescent thing I bought that and I didn't even wear it I'm going to use candied peach this pink to start to build up the crease And because I've done the graphic liner, I'm winging it out instead of rounding it, so I'm just taking it in the corner of my eye and then out. Dipping into the Morphe 35B. Um, if I can actually open it. I'm gonna use this shade, this one. What well, literally looks exactly the same as Georgia. Um, from the Sweet Peach palette, but this is going to help blend Candied Peach and Georgia together. Next, I'm going to start to build the actual like bold colour up in the crease now, and I'm going to take a little bit of this pink. I'm going to take the pink and then build up the crease and a bit on the outer corner but I'm not going to make this too bold because I don't want the crease to be the main part I want it to be the lid and the liner now I'm going to start with the purples so I'm going to use this shade what's well it's like a pinky purple and this is gonna go just under that pink I'm just gonna blend that out with a little bit of the pink because the pink's gotten lost a tiny bit And then for the last colour of the crease, I'm going to take, where is it, this one. Now I'm going to cut the crease, and I bought this brush specifically to cut creases, and oh my god, it's so fucking easy. It's a Zoeva 237 Detail Shader Brush, and so I'm going to take MTK Naked Skin, and then just cut the crease quickly and I'm just doing a half cut crease as per see look how easy that was so much
And then before I set it, I'm going to work the brush clean and then feather the concealer out so it blends in. So it blends into the outer corner. And I'm just going to set that before it transfers. To start on my lid, I'm going to use the Sugar Peel Pro Pan in Butter Cake, so the yellow one, and I'm going to pack this on the first third of my inner corner, well of the inner part of the lid. I'm going to use this um, pale orange as like a transition between the yellow and the orange I'm going to put on. Yeah, no, I hate that. Okay. Instead, I'm going to go straight in with an orange. I'm just going to feather it into the yellow. Wow, this orange is not pigmented at all. And to actually get some pigment on my eyelid, I'm going to use Morocco on the middle of my lid to build up the orange. There we go. That's a bit better. It doesn't really matter if you mess up because it's just corrected with the liner. Then I'm going to use this pink from the Juvia's Place palette. I'm going to place that over the last bit of the orange and then the beginning of the outer third of the lid. For the final outer bit of the lid, I'm going to use this purple from the Juvia's Place palette. To deepen that outer part of the lid just a little bit, I'm going to use a tiny bit of this purple from the Morphe 35B. And then to blend that out into the like wing, I'm going to take the brush I use the purples on the crease with and then just buff it out. No, I see the eyeliner and I'm really scared. I might have to do this off camera. So if I do have to do this off camera, I'm going to explain what I'm going to do first and then try and do it. Basically, I'm going to just do a wing. Oh, it's hard in the first place because I can never match wings. Because um, that's why I don't do them. And then I'm going to take it obviously to line my lashes. And then I'm going to take it halfway onto the part where I cut the crease. That is going to be with the L'Oreal Perfect, Perfect Slim Superliner. Um, then I'm going to use the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in Midnight Cowboy. And I'm going to line over the eyeliner and then under the line what defines the cut crease.
I'm gonna take a simple wipe and clean up under the wing. And this is hopefully also gonna make the wing sharper. They definitely don't match, but if you just look at them one at a time, you can't tell, so it's fine. Problem solved. Um, yeah, I'm not very good at eyeliner, so they don't match at all. Um, I'm gonna now go with the glitter liner, and this is a little bit easier. And with this um, glitter liner, you have to go over it a couple of times if you want to build up the intensity of the glitter. Now my eyelids are done, I'm going to go into the face. I'm just going to turn the camera off quickly and do my moisturiser off camera and then come back on to finish off my makeup. Also, I need to charge my battery. I've done my moisturiser and I did my primer because I couldn't be asked to wait that long. Um, so I'm going to go on to my foundation and this is going to be a bit of a mixture. Because I got tanned at Reading, um, I'm going to mix in a couple foundations to get the right shade. I'm going to first draw on a few stripes with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick. And then to get a bit of a better shade, I use my NARS Sheer Glow and my Maybelline Fit Me. And I'm also going to mix in my Cover Effects drops because I can't not. And to blend in my foundation, I usually use. <coughs> oh no, I got foundation on my jeans. Um, I usually use my beauty blender, I fucking actually look mental, um, but I'm going to use my new brush, what I've got is what is a Zoeva 102 silk finish brush and it's a round top foundation brush and it's really good. Um, so I'm going to use this and then I'm going to go over a bit with my beauty blender just to get rid of any streaks. Next I'm going to do concealer, there's actually quite a lot of new things in this video. I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Anti-Age Eraser Eye. Well this one, this concealer, what everyone uses. Um, the only thing, it's really good, but it's a completely wrong colour for me. So I should have got, I think there's like a brightener one what I probably should have got. Like look at that, that is darker than my foundation. But I really like the coverage so I'm just going to use a little bit of my own Decay Naked Skin to brighten it up over top. Oh my god it's so yellow! How is this the lightest shade? And I'm tanned right now.
And to set the rest of my face, and also to pat in the bake, I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay Powder. So much of this is Maybelline, I actually think Maybelline's so good. Like, well, I think it's the best brand on the high street. And I'm going to use like a foundation buffer brush to press this into my skin. And I'm going to especially press it into where I bronze and highlight so that when I do that, it doesn't take up any of the foundation. This also adds a lot of coverage, this powder, which is why I like it. Now I'm going to bronze using my Hoola bronzer. And I'm not going to contour, I'm just going to bronze highlight and blusher. For highlight, I'm going to use a mixture of Laura Gell... Gell. Laura Geller's Gilded Honey and Elf's Highlight in Moonlight Pearl. What is weird because they literally have the exact same packaging. This one was like 20 quid, this one was like 5 quid. And look at that, they literally look exactly the same. My camera died, so I just went ahead and did my highlight off camera. So for blush, I'm going to use Milani's Baked Blush in Luminoso. And I don't really know how I feel about this blush. Everyone raves about it, but it, I find it like exactly the same as the Sleek Rose Gold. It's just a bit more peachy. Then over the top of all of that, I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous... In Luminous? Luminous Light. Don't know why I couldn't say that. Um, to add um, like a glow to my whole face. And then finally for my face, I'm going to set it with my own Decay Chill Setting Spray. Back onto my eyes, I'm going to do my lower lash line. I think I'm going to do my lower lash line and my mascara off camera because my camera keeps dying so I need to charge the battery. Um, I think I'm going to use Candied Peach. And then this pink and this purple on the lower lash line. And then I'm just going to use the Benefit Roller Lash My Mascara because fuck lashes, man, fuck that. And I'm going to do a cream liner on the waterline. And I'm going to do that and then come back. For lips, I'm going to use the NYX Matte Lipstick in Sable. And that is my video done. I've been filming for about two and a half hours now, so I'm going to go eat some dinner. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. Fucking work. I feel as if I'm getting iller and iller as this video goes on.